Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung, and for this video, we're going to look at the anatomy of the sheep brain. This, of course, is the sheep brain. Notice, in terms of species differences, because the sheep's body, um, because they're four legged animals, their spine lines straight up with their head towards their eyes. So the spinal cord, which is back here, comes out straight back, whereas in the human brain, the spinal cord comes downward. Major features you can see from the outside, cranial nerve number one, or the olfactory nerve, is up here. Cranial nerve number two, or the optic nerve, has been cut off on these sheep brains. It would have come in right here. The optic chiasm is intact. So that's the optic chiasm. The mammillary bodies are the two little roundish structures you see behind the um, optic chiasm. There's one here on this side, and there's a mammillary, mammillary body on this side. You can see the cerebellum, and of course you can see the cerebrum with all of its lobes, right frontal lobe, left frontal lobe, right parietal lobe, left parietal lobe, right temporal lobe. Notice that the temporal lobe does not come out and as far forward as the human does. Left temporal lobe, and then left occipital lobe and right occipital lobe. Longitudinal fissure, or sagittal fissure, transverse fissure, to begin a bit of the dissection I'm going to start separating the right and left hemispheres of the brain carefully. The pia mater is connecting the two sides right now. I'll try and do it very gently, oh I'm getting a break between my right hemisphere is coming apart, so I'm going to use my scalpel to separate these tissues a bit. There we go. Ooh, I broke part of the corpus callosum. That's what I was trying to get down to so that you could see it. If you can see, let me try and separate it with one hand. If you can see down in here, there's a little bit of white tissue that's connecting the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. That's called the corpus callosum. We'll look at it again after I do this sagittal section. I'm going to do a sagittal section straight down the center of the brain. Unfortunately, my scalpel is a little bit dull. Now we have two, the two halves to the brain. I'll pick up the left half and start pointing things out. Corpus callosum that I tried to show earlier is here. Thalamus is here. Optic chiasm is here. Right behind is the mammillary body. I've cut part of the mammillary body on this half, so I'm going to bring up the other one. Here's mammillary body. Right back here. Pons is in this region here. And medulla oblongata is back here. Cerebellum is here, and you can nicely see the whitish tissues of the arbor vitae. Cerebrum, of course, up here. Cranial nerve number one, or the olfactory nerve here. 
optic chiasm here. Optic chiasm. Another dissection that we like to do is a frontal section. So I'm going to make a cut straight down through here, all the way through the brain. And what that creates, of course, is a front part and a back part. This section really nicely allows you to see the white matter of the brain and the gray matter of the brain. And the tops are gyri. So this is a gyrus. And then these valleys between the gyri, which are called sulci or sulcus. Also on this brain, I have, in this case, the left lateral ventricle. The other ventricles on the sheep brain, if we're up here and I say what ventricle, that would be the third ventricle. If we're down here in front of the cerebellum, you can see this open area here, that's the fourth ventricle. And I think for this brain, that's all the major features that I can point out. So as always, any questions, comments, please feel free to contact me. Thank you again for watching.